Okay, um, so the first thing that we need to do to replace the screen is to remove the plastic frame. And here's the tools that we're going to need for the job today. We need a pair of metal tweezers, a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a PH0 bit, and an X-Acto knife. Okay, in order to remove the plastic frame, we have to remove two screws here that are hiding behind some covers. And in order to remove these covers, we need to use our X-Acto knife and try to lift them up without damaging them. Not too hard for this laptop. There's one. And there's two. Well, I do this some safety precautions. Always take the battery out on the laptop when you're working on it. And to avoid electrostatic discharge, I work with my shoes off just with my socks or bare feet. Okay, so we see the two screws. We're going to remove the two screws. One. And keep the sets of screws in separate piles, so when you put the laptop back together, you know which screws go where. And almost there. And two. Sometimes the screw gets stuck in there, and this is where the tweezers come in. You can use the tweezers to pull out the screw. Okay, once the screws are removed, we have to remove the plastic frame from it. So what I like to do is start on the side, put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up and listen for the snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's good. It's not breaking, it's coming loose. And go gently around here. Let's try the hardest part of this job because it's relatively easy to break this plastic frame. I've done that before, so don't worry if you do. Okay, so we go around. It would probably take a little bit more time to do this because I've done this before. Okay, and the plastic frame comes off. So we put the frame to the side and we look at the laptop. So we see it's an LED screen because there's only one connector going there. And let's see if we have access to the screws. The screen is held by metal brackets on both sides and there's screws on both sides here and here. Now with most laptops, it's harder to get to the screws so you have to tilt the screen forward on it. For this particular one, it's real easy to get to the screws. So we remove the two screws on each side. And once, and also you want to have the screen tilted back a little bit so when you remove all of the screws, the screen doesn't just fall forward on you. One, two, and same on this side. Now let's see, this side has three screws. Did we miss something on the other side? Yes, we did. We missed the third screw. So there's three screws on each side. Okay, let's go back over here and remove the screws one by one. As you can see, this is a fairly simple laptop to replace the screen on. No major hang-ups, which is good. Okay, and we get to the third screw. Okay, and this one doesn't... Oh, here it comes. Okay, so the next thing, once we do that, is we tilt the screen forward. Sometimes the webcam cable... Let me show you. Sometimes the webcam cable is has adhesive and it's stuck to the back of the screen. So we either remove the webcam connector or we lift up the cable. In this case, we lift up the cable and now we have the screen. 
So this is right here is the only connector that we have to take care of. So there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. We remove that first slowly. So this is a pretty delicate connector, so we don't want to damage it. Take your time on this. Try to hold the tape down so it doesn't all come off at once and grab the connector with it. This part they made a little bit more difficult than other laptops. It's not too bad. So we slowly work our way with the tape off. Okay. And also there's sometimes adhesive on the back of the cable. Okay, so what we do to remove the connector is just slide it back like this and the screen is off. So if you own this laptop and you have this screen, consider yourself lucky because it has a 15.6 inch LED screen which is widely available as of early 2011. It's the most pos it's the most popular laptop screen out there, so you should not have trouble finding it. The connector is over here, and the part number for this particular screen is B156XW2. B156XW2. So when you do your search, just type in those numbers, and you'll have lots of options that come up. The screen that you will get will like most likely be not the same part number, but it will be a compatible screen and it will look almost exactly like this with a connector in this space. Okay, so this is a fairly simple laptop to do 